FBI director warns that Chinese hacker, hackers are preparing to wreak havoc on U.S. critical infrastructure. And that sounds like something, if it was just like, a, I don't know, some news headline without anyone important talking about it, it's like, of course, hmm. right? You say, of course, China is an adversarial nation at this point because of the government that is leading the country right now that has decided that America is their greatest adversary, yeah. right? It's just how it is, right? <laughs> However, there's a difference between having some sort of like malicious intent, right? Yeah. Versus actually already doing something. And they actually already did something. Yeah, and before we get into that, okay, we, we first have to set up a scenario, a theoretical scenario. <clears throat> if you are going to attack another country, okay, what you do, if you can, is to insert a lot of sleeper cells. Mm -hmm. And a sleeper cell is you get people to immigrate there. Sure. They blend into society. They live a normal life, but they're actually military personnel, spies, agents. You saw a lot of that during the, the Cold, Cold War, War yeah. in Russia and stuff. Or you have, um, you send troops in like covertly and they get ready and they're all hiding behind the trees ready to attack type thing. Okay, mm. that's kind of just before you're about to start a war. Yeah. China has done this on a digital front and they've actually infected a huge amount of uh, specifically small office, home office routers and other internet devices with uh, a botnet, which basically they've infected all these routers. Well, I have some slides for that. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you well, can we'll talk about it. Them. Um, and they've prepared them, ready to attack. You're uh, saying it's already happened. Yeah, right, it's yeah. it's already done. So right. if it was a wartime scenario and you found a bunch of uh, I don't know soldiers hiding in the forests, ready to attack, you'd probably go to war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the same thing, but on a cyber level. Yeah, I think because it's this whole cyber thing, like nobody is paying attention to it as much as they should. Yes. The quote is, this, this, the risk that poses, uh, poses to every American requires our attention now. And let's see why this is so serious. Right? Yeah. So if we look at this, what is China trying to attack, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this tweet came out, right? And it actually used the the word, the name of this uh, this attack, and it says yes. PRC. So that's the People's Republic of China, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Chinese government, right? Sponsored hashtag Volt Typhoon. Threat actors are compromising small office and home office and Soho routers by mm -hmm. exploiting software defects. Manufacturers are urged to adopt this CISA government secure by design principles during the software design to protect users. So then they have a link there. Now, what happened was, you can go, go forward mm -hmm. here, is that they employed something called a botnet. And mm -hmm. I thought this was the easiest thing to kind of understand if you have no idea what a botnet is, right? Um, you can explain yeah. what this is. So it's quite simple. Uh, the specifically end-of-life infrastructure, like old Cisco switches and things like that that are out there, still part of the internet infrastructure. And of course, in everybody's home, you've got a router, right? Yeah. Now, if you've got an old router, something that's maybe by now five, ten years old, you know, because, you know, that's something you don't normally change. Let's be honest. Because it does its yeah. job. It if sits it works, there. it works, right? Yeah, it sits there. It helps you connect to the internet. Now, if the software is not up to date on those, and some vulnerable older ones, uh, you can't even make them secure. These botnets, what they do is uh, the actors from China, the bad actors, the hackers, they will inject malicious code onto those devices. They will be able to take control of those devices. They do it in a very silent and quiet way, so they get access, full access to it, without alerting you, obviously. And then when a conflict breaks out, or if something happens, they can then use your device as part of a massive network of everybody else's device to attack certain targets. And you can see that in that infographic yeah. there. Yeah, so think about it as somebody basically hijacking your home network mm -hmm. and then from abroad using your home network and your neighbors and everybody else around you to attack, say, for instance, a power station right. or a water treatment plant right. or anything. And then it's localized. So the thing is, um, it, it really increases the effectiveness of a cyber attack because it's all happening locally in the country. Yeah. You know? So this is not something that was theoretical. This is something that was found already. Yeah, they right. found all these infections already. Now these, mm. this is not, uh, when I say hypothetical, I'm not talking about hypothetical like, oh, they could use this against the electric grid. No, this is why this is being prepared. This is yeah. why the Chinese government was employing these tactics. So yeah. what are they trying to affect? Well, the first thing is the power grid. Yes. The American power grid would hypothetically be running on some outdated infrastructure. Well, it's, it's not just that. No, it, it's fine. But if you were to um, use a botnet, a massive botnet, mm -hmm. say like hundreds of thousands of American homes suddenly all do denial of service attacks against um, the power 
company's computers and servers. Mm -hmm. You can cause a crash. You can cause things to go down. You can, of course, hack you know, directly from other people's devices too. So what you're saying is not um, they could. It's that this is that's what Volt Typhoon was made to do yeah, it was by made, the Chinese government. Yeah, it's the, the Volt Typhoon um, like thing that they've used, the botnet, is there so that they can use it mm. to attack various things and you know it's pretty easy to cause a massive cascading failure if you know what you're doing and if the power goes out during a time of conflict think about it you can't pump gas anymore because the pumps don't work you know you can't uh, do anything everything's screwed you can't communicate anymore you know there's it's just it's a huge thing yeah. so of course they would go after uh, critical infrastructure like the power grid um which is uh, obviously not something you you I mean, we just type, if you think about like what that would it's be. Not, it, yeah, it's not even hypothetical. It's just, this is a target. This is one of their targets is the power grid. The power grid being that if you lose power, mm -hmm. chaos and anarchy ensues. Absolutely. I mean, just... I mean, like within a week. Think about it. Just think about what would happen. You get stuck in elevators. People get stuck down in the subway. People can't, like I said, communicate anymore. Uh, there's... Just think about it for right now. If you were to go without power for a week, just think about how your life would be affected. It's how badly your life would be affected. I mean, and think about the knock-on effect. Maybe you say, I have provisions in place. This is something that actually bothers yeah. me. I don't want to bring up personal gripes and stuff, but this bothers me sometimes. If I put out a thing that's bad, right, and this yeah. is how we deal with it, a lot of the people are like, oh, I, that doesn't – oh, for example, I just did a video on short-form media and how it's bad for your brain, yeah, right? good video. And a lot of people in the comments, and I appreciate it, are like, well, that doesn't affect me. That's, that's, no, that's not a big deal because I just don't even use it. Well, that's great that you don't, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you have sacks of rice and beans mm -hmm. and like yeah. emergency power generators and stuff. Maybe you have that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you don't go on short form media. Maybe you're yeah. not a victim of CCP stuff, right? Yeah. But other people are, right? And society at, at large is affected by this kind of Correct. stuff. Just because you're ready doesn't mean that 99.9% .9 of other people are not, that's right? That's correct, yeah. And so that's what we have to pay attention to is this affects society as a whole, not yeah. little like, oh, I lost power today. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't open your garage door to get back into your house. You know, yeah. There's a lot of things that uh, you take for granted. Right. That when the power goes off, you suddenly find out like, whoops, uh, water treatment. That's water treatment massive. Plants. Massive. Think about it. We need water treatment plants to have potable water to be able to drink and survive, mm -hmm. right? Something that a lot of Americans take for granted, I believe. Yeah. Well, I mean, China knows all about that since they can't drink the water. Yeah, China, I was about so, to say, yeah. Americans are woefully unprepared, but they think that their water's bad for some reason. Yeah, they're always like, Flint, Michigan. The, Dude. Which is terrible, obviously. Yeah, but, but it's it's not an entire it, national issue. You compare it to, to the developing world where you can't drink the water anywhere in the country. Like yeah, China. It's by the way, Michigan's bad, but it's not that bad. Water treatment is not just the quality of water; it's also how the water is delivered to you, right? Do you do you do you have a well that you can tap into? C cue all the people in the comments. I have my own well. I'm fine. Well, guess yeah. what? Most people don't, and right? you're going to be having to defend that well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yes. what I mean? Yes. Either that, or you're good at sharing. You know? Yeah, maybe you're just the world's best sharer. Yeah, exactly. Sharing, sharing is caring, right? Gas and oil lines, of course, that's another thing that's been, it's part of this target yes. list of this uh, this Volt attack. Typhoon. Yeah, Volt Typhoon attack. Uh, all of these things are a network. You have to understand, in the way the world is now, everything is ones and zeros, okay? Yeah. Literally, the whole way the world works right now, it's computerized. Yes. Okay, and we just, we rely on it too much, and it is a vulnerability, and it's a vulnerability that China has identified, and I I think all big governments have identified this at least yeah. at least since the 70s by now. Yeah. But the thing is, China's actually taken action and infected all these routers and all these devices around America just because they're waiting for the opportunity to use it. Yes, I just want to read this because this is there's two really important points to drive this home of why this is a big deal. Okay? Yeah, yeah. This is not a flash in the pan. This isn't like, oh, maybe one day they have intent to do this. This was already done. <laughs> Yeah. Right? yeah. Says uh, the Justice Department and FBI announced Wednesday that they've disrupted the hacking operation known as Volt Typhoon, a China backed hacking operation that officials said targeted critical infrastructure in the US and other nations. Now, to follow up with it, so they, they, they dealt with it, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean this threat is over. This is China has shown this is what they're going to do. Yeah. Right? This well, is what they've this done. This is what they did. And this is what they'll continue to yes. do. This is a continued threat. This is not a, an isolated issue. Yeah. 
This uh, Rob Joyce guy, I think this quote was really, really important to understand why this is so gross. And I think yeah. gross is the right word. Yes. This isn't two armies going to battle. This isn't like an unmanned drone going around fighting another unmanned drone, sure. right? It says, we have to get to the point where the PRC leadership, and that's China, mm -hmm. decides that the embarrassment in the international community of being caught at this, the horror of the international community, that someone would hold civilians at risk with cyber is intolerable. Yes. And that's the difference between this. This is not two man, uh, manned armies yeah. facing off with like weapons against each other in a battlefield. This is China attacking American civilians. Yes. This is not an army anymore. How is this not being seen by the rest of the uh, world at large like some sort of act of war? Exactly. I mean, it is. It's to target civilian life. It's to disable the power grid, to dis disrupt the, the flow of water and the water treatment plants. Yes. You know, disrupt oil and gas, energy. So it's going to leave people freezing in the winters. It's going to leave people uh, vulnerable. It's going to cause absolute chaos and civilian casualties. It's going to disrupt civilian life so china's effort is not to say we you know how they're always like oh we need to make sure our army is up to snuff so we can face off against america at some point it's yeah. way beyond that now yeah. they've already they've targeted civilians american civilians yeah. yeah of course why are people still wanting to deal with china why are still people people still making it their part of their like platform to be like yeah everything's gonna be fine let's repair relationships at this point they're already doing this stuff that's because for some reason china's been immune to to any kind of reprisals it's like every time china does something in bad faith yes. and acts badly they don't even get a slap on the wrist no it actually is a great thing in chat they've had plausible but not deniability up to this point yeah this would get rid of that and expose them yeah and it's been exposed this is a thing that already happened mm. This is, again, it's one thing if you have some plans or something, you know what I mean? Or like, yeah. I heard somebody said that China's going to do this. Or, you know, this. oh, TikTok, by the way, is yeah, yeah. a Chinese government influence operation, which it is. It's all time. Or at least in. being used as one. Right? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. It's not just being, it, it really is. I've, I'm covering that yeah. in depth. Mm. So, I mean, like, there, there are all these different angles that China has been using and utilizing specifically the online stuff and i think that's where the rest of the world wasn't prepared yeah they weren't prepared for s such a tech savvy nation to you know attack using what you wouldn't expect i think the i think another thing that mm -hmm. like this is why it doesn't get a ton of um civilian attention like the average person right because they're targeting mm -hmm. civilians right yeah, yeah. the average person doesn't see it as that because it's like, oh, maybe if they do that, I won't be able to use Amazon for a week or something. You know what I mean? Sure. Like it's, I think that's, I know people aren't stupid, but I understand, I think that the immediate threat is not so severe, right? Yeah. What they don't understand is that it's not taking down the internet, it's taking down everything. Yes. Right? It's the stuff you do, you need every day. Correct. Right, to live. You will be, to go to work. You will be screwed. Yeah. You know what I mean? There is no work. At no, that point, no, you know, there's, uh, you they don't... disrupt all these different pipelines, yeah. and the you know food trucks cannot deliver. I'm not talking about a taco truck here. I'm talking about the trucks that carry goods can't deliver goods to the supermarkets. The supermarkets can't run anymore. You know, there's nothing on the shelves. So unless you like some doomsday prepper, you're in for a lot of trouble. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So just so you know that this is a credible threat that's been th thwarted. It yeah. has been thwarted. Yeah. But it's credible, and it's something that China has already done. Yeah. So, again, I get very disappointed that um, China isn't uh, very harshly taken to task over these things. Because if you found Chinese soldiers hiding in the trees, you'd be like, what the hell are you doing, China? This is the same thing. It's malicious Chinese botnets installed on people's routers and, and devices in their own homes and in internet infrastructure. It's been found. So why is it not like, hey, China, what the hell are you doing? Why is it just like, oh, we thwarted something. Let's carry on. Well, hey. they are. This is this, this is their job, right? Mm. So the, obviously the Justice Department whatever, is like, we've done this. Now what are we going to do about it? It's separation of government, right? Yeah. Now the government actually has to do something about this. Well, let's this. hope they do. And I hope the international community does something about this. Because if you think England, all the British people watching out there, if you think you're immune from this, <laughs> no. you're not immune from this. You're no. allied with the U.S. By Canada, the way, if you think you're immune yeah. from this, you're joined at the hip. This affects the whole Western world. Yeah, it wasn't only America, by no. the way. As you heard, it was other countries too. Of so, you know, you better make sure your router's software is up to date, by the way. And a uh, quick little tip. You know, a lot of um, 
it's modern routers, routers, whatever you want to call them, they have uh, the ability for you to access them from outside to mm. configure and change. Yeah. Shut that off. Yeah. Like if you can, yeah. just go through your router settings. Make sure that, first of all, the firmware is completely up to date, but also maybe reset all the security on it and just don't allow like um, external administration. It's yeah. unnecessary. Yeah. You don't have to do no. that. I mean, no, no one needs to do nope. that. Right, nope. shut it off because this can prevent this kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this this really just gets my goat because this happens one day and tomorrow you'll have some wanker down at the bank telling you to invest in Asia emerging markets in your portfolio, which means invest in China, which you pay the Chinese military. It's like the the whole world is crazy. It is. They it's allow nuts. China to get away with so much crap and at the same time think it's such a great idea to invest in the country that's actively and maliciously doing things like this. Yeah. Doesn't it annoy you? Yes. Allowing them to list on the stock market and stuff? Yes. Like, what's what's going on here, people? <laughs> Killing a goat, blood everywhere. Yeah. They'll kind of string it up. It sounds like a demonic ritual or something. But it's not! You've been there! <laughs> Amazing <laughs> Ac acrobatics! It takes a lot of skill to be this absurd. You're walking through there and it's creaking and the moonlight's coming through. There's like a, sure. a man in a cage and they're going, ah! <laughs> We're like, I'm out of here! Immediately, like, these pigeons just went ape and flew into everyone's faces and there was <laughs> shit flying everywhere. <laughs> You got a mobile incinerator. You got a mobile incinerator. That's not the convenience you want coming to your door, by the way. Like mobile execution van, <laughs> ding dong. Not only. Anyone call for an execution? <laughs> you get executed and then they <laughs> shove you in the yeah, incinerator. incinerator van. Exactly. Mind's